and hello. Today we're looking at another mobile battery powered speaker system. But stay stay tuned, because for guitar players and actually for anyone, this might be the shit. Honestly, yeah, Mac is paying me for this video, but there's no way I would say what I'm going to say uh, for money. I've reviewed the Bose, the LD systems, the Combo Audio, and a bunch of other systems, which all have their benefits. Um, namely wireless, both a little bit smaller, all that stuff. But the Mackie Showbox has things that, in my experience with these types of systems, because I've used them live during Gear Street and stuff like this, that just beats them all. It has certain features that none of the competition has at a lower price than the competition. Right now in Germany, this is clocking in at 729. I'm going to think probably in, in the States, 769 or something along those lines. And that's phenomenal. So we're going to look at everything. I'll probably forget features because it is so fully featured. There's a tiny wiener behind me. <laughs> you can't see him. Hey, Snoopy. Come here. Show yourself. There you go. That's a Snoopy. It's not my dog. He just lives here. Let's do some nice product shots with a bit of music so you get an even closer look at this thing. The garden's full of last year's leaves The mailbox of reminder fees And I'm not sure we need all those shoes Paul's a mess, can't find my keys The kid has hurt his other knee And now we're cutting back on all the booze Hair getting gray, our youth seems to fade Work and let's play, but can we complain? I guess that's just me read life Small imperfections amount to sublime. As always, to wet your whistle, what we're going to do before we really dive into the details and you're going to say, wait, uh, well, maybe I want to know more about this thing because we're going to tell you more about it. Um, I invited my friend Rafael Cano into this room and said, play a song. So hooked up a mic, played a song. And that's it. That's coming. Wish I was a modest man and buried all my dreams I'm tired of taking up I want land I hope to harvest what I plant Be patient with my seeds Oh, I wish I was a better man I wish I was a braver man And strongly spoke my mind Never there's injustice, take a stand Wanna have the faith to fight The courage to be kind Oh, I wish I was a better man But in these times of imperfections Ain't it out? We always seek the things that we ain't well, we ought to stick together when the going's getting rough. We shouldn't ask for better. We shouldn't ask for better. Just good enough. Wish I was a wiser man. I need to know the truth. So many things I do not understand. Prophet in a foreign land, a sage among the fools Oh, I wish I was a better man But in these times of imperfections, ain't it I? Though we always seek the things that we ain't got Well, we ought to stay together when the going's getting rough shouldn't ask for better, just good enough Wish I was a modest man and buried all my dreams Wish I was 
that you might have spent and buried on my grave. Wish I was a better man buried on my buried on my I produced a lot of content for this video. I don't even know what I already recorded and what I didn't, so we're gonna go through things. Let's quickly look at specs. This is a battery powered speaker, but of course you can power it with an IEC cable. And from the front, there's not that much to look at. There are beautiful LEDs showing you that it's on, which in case that annoys anyone, you can actually turn off. So looking at this bit, look, there's a mixer. Pretty damn annoying to fiddle with the mixer on the speaker. But that is what all the others expect you to do. And that means you will have to go when that is on stage or on the street or whatever and always jump behind the mixer, behind the speaker and fiddle around with it, then go in front, listen, go in the back. I've done these things and it is massively annoying to go through menus and all of this. And this is where Mackie rules the market with this setup. Because first of all, it is an actual mixer. You don't have to dive through menus. And secondly, it disconnects. And that is so cool. And there's a beautiful braided cable coming with it. But you can use it like this. Right here, it is angled. So you can actually have it as a wedge on the floor. That is really beautiful. And now let's look at the back before we go anywhere else, okay? On the top, I mean, I can't turn this on because battery. Front LED is on off. Let me check. Yep. That's really what it does. Feedback eliminator. That's really cool. Turn that on. If there's feedback outdoor mode, I have no idea what that does. I guess you can use it outdoor, but I don't leave my house. So screw that. And PA mode. I don't know what that is. PA mode and amplifier mode. Uh, I can't tell you what that is. Uh, um, maybe I'll put that in text here because I, I, I never experienced, I don't know. Um, so you can use it as a USB interface when you want to, I mean, record the inputs. I don't know if that is stereo or not, but you could run audio to it or from it, I assume. Remote is of course for the, uh, here, mixer. Um, network cable. You can use any cable, but of course the included cable is way long enough. And this is the really, really cool thing, micro SD card. So you can actually record the stereo output, not individual outs, the stereo output to a micro SD. We did it. I'm going to show you in this video and it sounds pretty damn cool. So why would you do that? Let's assume you're busking on the street and someone is filming with a cell phone as they do and you get the crowd reaction and that's all fine. But the actual recording from your performance is lacking. What you do is you get the phone volume down so you still have some of the crowd and some of that interaction, but you can actually mix in a dry DI recording, everything stereo that this thing did, right onto the SD card, mix that into your reel, and your social media is gonna be on fire! You know what I mean. Look, the mixer actually lights up. Cool, back to the back. We have two inputs with XLR. They're not combo inputs, so XLR only. That's a little bit of a, hmm, okay, but that's what it is. Then we've got two quarter inch inputs. It says guitar. That means it's probably a high Z input, but you can, likely use it for something else and then there's a stereo input which is sharing its mixer with the bluetooth as well so putting in keyboards or whatever not a problem and then there's a loop to use your own effects which you can actually mix in on the mixer right there and i'm going to show you that in detail bluetooth pairing already happening and an aux input little jackie foot switch to trigger get this either the, I think, effects send return and the built-in looper. Yes, this thing has a built-in looper. There's a big ass headphone out and a mix out in mono to go to another speaker if you so choose and create a, not stereo, but a multi-speaker setup. You're charging it here or you're running it here on the grid. And uh, obviously uh, this is amazing. It actually runs in any country, 50, 60 Hertz, 100, 200, blah, 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 uh, on off. And that's it. So that's, looking at this up close. Now I'm going to put it back there, hook it up and I'm going to show you the mixer. 
So plugged in a guitar, a mic, mixer is unpowered. Here's this beautiful green cable from Mackie. Don't quite know why the mixer has a USB-C. I don't know everything. And so now it's got power. And this is the amazing thing. As a solo performer, you can have this on your mic stand and do everything you want to do right there. It does come with this clamp. And that's the one thing I'm not super happy about because it is plastic. It'll be fine. But if you break this or lose it, again, it's plastic. How are you going to affix this to your mic stand? What I would suggest to Mackie is, first of all, the mold for this is already done. You've already spent the money. Making a second one to throw in the box as a backup is going to cost you a buck because the work is done. Throw in a second one or give us the option to buy one made out of aluminum for our American friends, aluminum, and buy that for 29 or 30 bucks. Buy a sturdy metal one, okay? So you're hanging this into this and that's it. Let me show you again. So you clip it in, that's it. And that's a really nice control surface now that once you know what it does, is super easy to just handle even while you're playing and adjust. You go to the channels, 5.6 is Bluetooth or the stereo. You have gain. Oh, gain and volume are separate. I didn't even know that. Wow, that is amazing. Because on most of them, they don't actually have a gain. They just have volume. And you do this by clicking on it, by the way. Oh, these are clickable. Why are these clickable? I don't know. Click it, volume and gain. Beautifully illustrated by the colors. You've got low, mid and high, which is great. Some of these systems actually don't have a three band EQ per channel. Very quickly, very nicely illuminated, change the channels that you want to adjust. Each channel has a really usable compressor on it. And then you see two effects, right? I'm on the vocals right now. And you see two effects. And on most of these systems, two effects would already be a lot. And it would be already a, you know, better system with two effects. But if you see, I'm changing, uh, it is two independent effects per channel, not on the 5.6, which means your guitar has two different effects than your vocal. That's amazing. No other mobile battery powered system has that. The way you, um, Select this is, first of all, this is your mix. You click, you select, you click again, and then you can hear it. Left ones are different than right ones. These are more reverbs, but I will show you that. If you hold this in, get this, there's a tuner. Yes, there's a tuner built in. And if you click this and hold it in, you go into snapshot. And that means, this is so cool. It's actually now showing you by flashing what is behind the snapshot. There are, let me see, five snapshots. So those are, click, recall, bam. So you can recall snapshots, meaning if for one song you need a different setup, easily recall that for that channel. Amazing. Here's the level for your effects loop. And it takes a while to kind of get the, okay, I'm adjusting, I'm clicking, and now I'm adjusting again. And, uh, but it's really amazing to have this mixer in front of you on the mic stand. SD card recording right here. If an SD card is in it, you click it. It flashes green. That doesn't make sense. Recording is red, Mackie. I don't know why it flashes green. Headphone volume. Main volume. Mute the whole system. They have a red LED, clearly. And here is the built-in looper. Amazing. Okay, click this loop. Obviously, doing it on the mic stand is a bit annoying. That's why you have the option of the foot switch. So, before we go into this, and I actually show you some things, let me go into the room and show you how it sounds in the room with the beautiful AEA R88 stereo ribbon mic, which really captures a very realistic room performance. 
Check out the looper and if I can handle it without the foot switch. Hey, I forgot to read you some boring stats. Um, equipped with an 8-inch woofer, 1-inch compression driver, 400 watts power, Bluetooth, 3-band EQ, coverage pattern, 90 degrees by 60 degrees, voicing modes, amp PA, indoor-outdoor. Built-in loop and tuner, replaceable lithium ion battery, lithium, lithium ion battery. The battery is replaceable, so if it actually, if you're using this hardcore, down the line you could pump it up again. Up to 12 hours battery life. I charged it and uh, actually now it's showing that the battery is orange, but I, I've never had it on power again. So that's been running for a while. Microphone inputs, we talked about that. Foot switch headphone, USB-C dimensions, weight is 9.53 kilogram uh, in pounds, figure it out. Uh, color black, ink to zero So there is a backpack for it, which I highly recommend because the clamp and the cable are kind of like loose. And you want the backpack because you can put all your cables and all your mics in there. They didn't send the backpack to me. Shame on you, Mackie, because I would have loved to show that because I'm, 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 I'm nuts about backpacks. So let me quickly do some vocal stuff and show you how that works. Oh. <laughs> I got a mic here, and we're gonna go to the room mic, which is again the AEA R88. Thank you, AEA, for sending that over. And you're gonna hear it from over there, mic'd right next to the camera. So, really, where you're sitting, that's where you're hearing it. Hello, hello, hello. So, so this is a Lewitt MTP440. Hello, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Um, we don't want the tube model on, so I'm gonna click that and go all the way to none. No, 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 and no delay. Okay, and now we got it where I want it. Uh, let's look at, this is the level. It kind of goes from dot to dot, and sometimes it makes a bigger jump than I would want to. Okay, so uh, we have this. We're gonna click gain, and the gain is gain. Oh, 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 no, gain it in, and we're good. And there we go. So comp, we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna come, 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 come. Now I can talk really, really quietly and it actually is very, very loud and the comp kind of really, really, I, I can really now really push it and talk into it, doesn't really matter. Compressor works absolutely fine. Let's look at the EQ, 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 EQ. We had some pops in the song, took the low end out, 
and that was it. Of course, that's too much. And hi, hello, hello, kind of, kind of dull. And oh, I love the top end on this because it's very clear, doesn't really too, 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 too much SS, and it just adds clarity without annoyingness. Amazing. So, as for the effects, I'm going to probably demonstrate them on the guitar more, uh, these first ones here. The chorus, why do I want that? Fast delay. You can't really tap it, but a little bit of fast delay for vocals could be cool. Slow delay, slow delay, slow delay. a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Delay and chorus, chorus, overdrive, overdrive fast. fast. You can you play, can with, play with, play with. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. How, how, how did I? What the? What the? Flunger, flunger, tremolo. Okay, okay. We're gonna go to none. Um, this does have guitar models built in, meaning I can actually play with an electric guitar through it and kind of get electric guitar sounds. They are shit. Okay. But you know what? If you're playing a wedding and the groom's like, oh, I want to play a guitar solo. And well, you know what? Then you're just going to go and go, like, I can do this. Plug yourself, plug him into number four and uh, dial in some fuzz sound with some delay. And he's going to be happy. They're not great, but they're going to be okay in a pinch if you don't have anything else. So back to the actual effects here. We got again on number, number two. two. I said, I said number, number two. That's good. Fast, fast delay, delay we, we got, got here. We've, we've got, got the, the actual, actual rooms. rooms. Small plate, up, 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 up. Large plate, up, up, up. Small room, large room. Small hall. Yep, you guessed it, large hall. That's a lot of choices already. And a spring reverb, as we say in Germany. Do I do I need chorus? I don't know. Small I don't know. Small chorus and large chorus? I don't I don't think that's what you say about chorus. Um and then we got the fast delay again, slow delay, delay and reverb, delay, delay, delay and, and, and that's, that's way, too, way much too much delay. Uh delay in chorus, chorus, chorus is law way too long. long. Finger, Finger turn below. Turn below. Okay, okay. None none. Now we want maybe a small plate. Hello! That's very nice. And as I said, if I wanted to. I could push this looper button. 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 Obviously, that's not what you want to do, but you could. It's a, uh, you know, it works. Let's do this for guitar. No, let's go through to these um, electric guitar sounds. I'm going to show you what a what it sounds like with a electric guitar that has a built-in modeler. So how does it sound like with the modeler and with the built-in guitar sounds, which will be worse than the built-in modeler, but you can get both of these versions and you're hearing a more or more, more a GTRS with the built-in models. And then we're going to do some acoustic stuff.
and I'm back. So let's check out what you can do for acoustic. I'm on channel two. I got this beautiful Dowina guitars, Oster, beautiful orchestral model plugged in. I'm gonna show you the same thing with a Yamaha Transacoustic in the other room, but first we quickly go through the settings here. So I'm gonna turn these things down. Room sound. Compressor works really, really well, I gotta say. Let's go to the EQ. Super flexible to quickly adjust what you need. Tunsky. Works. Phaser. Let's start at the beginning, chorus. Fun. Subtle, nice. And we got reverse delay, don't know who needs that. Fun to play with. Now overdrive, of course, for the acoustic you don't need. But if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to, you could do that. Fuzz, crunch, flanger. Don't know what the troop model's for. If you have an electric, you could simulate an acoustic. Kind of nice to have that built in. With an acoustic, that's too much top end, of course. And a nice tremolo. Let's dial this in. Gonna erase the looper. We're gonna try this. And... And uh, really, really cool. Let's check out what it sounds like when you're using the SD card recording. Forgotten 
hands full of last year's leaves The mailbox of reminder fees And I'm not sure I need all those shoes Paul's a mess, can't find my keys The kid has hurt his other knee And now we're cutting back on all the booze Hair getting gray, our youth seems to fade Work and let's play, but can we complain? I guess that's just married life. The small imperfections amount to sublime, so we better hold on tight. There's no one I'd rather have. So, what is my bottom line? It's very simple. I feel that with presets for channels, two independent effects per channel, a looper SD card recording, built-in comp and three-band EQ, a separate gain, which some of them don't have, the, the separate mixer with a beautiful long braided network cable. Use any network cable. Bring a second one in case someone breaks this. This is unique and so much more usable than any of the other systems. Some of the other systems, the Combo Audio, the Bose, I mean, I can only talk about the ones that I've tested. Of course, there's other systems out there that I don't know about, and if I don't know about them, I can't talk about them. But the ones I've tested, which I like most of them, um, cannot, in terms of usability, compete with a thing that you can mix from your mic stand. Of course, like the Bose, okay, it's got wireless. It's got the wireless plugged in, it charges in the system, and it's not multi-channel in this way. It's two channels. It's a quick system that you throw on the ground and, and make a speech or do a little performance. It's two channels. But with those two wireless, it clocks in at more money than this. This is clearly, for the small band setup, it's just a great system. We haven't checked out the Bluetooth. Well, that, that's what that sounds like in the room. So it clearly works. One thing that I noticed is the Bluetooth. When you want to, let's say, loop something coming in from your phone or whatever, loop that and play over it, that doesn't loop. The Bluetooth does not get pumped into the looping engine, which is kind of weird. Don't know why. My only gripe is the plastic clamp, which they should offer as a replacement or put two in the box or offer as a replacement part in metal. Other than that, for the money, and even add more money, even if this was a thousand bucks, I would still put a check mark on it and say, this is amazing, because with two independent effects, built in amp simulation, um, effects loop, compressor, three band EQ, all the features, this beats, if you ask me, everything else. It's sound wise it's super clear it's transparent i love the top end there was never any frequencies that i didn't like it's nice and thumpy in the low end but the top end is nice i can only describe it as nice it's never like oh god it's too much you fully dial it in and it just becomes clear mackie you made a great system you made a system that I will gladly recommend to anyone wanting to uh, play parties, have a party boombox, uh, do street gigs, um, uh, rehearse, uh, songwriting tool with looping, uh, the, for the songwriter that quickly wants to record a 
demo because you can actually just and sing and plug, plug in an SD card, bam, it also has a USB interface. I mean, they thought of everything and then they put it in. Yeah, uh, you're going to say, well, are you saying that because you got paid for it? Well, getting paid for it or not, I the features are there. You saw them, you heard them. What can, I can't make anything up. That's what I got to say. Thank you for commissioning this video, Mackie. Let's do more because you have good products. I reviewed the DLZ podcast studios and they are kick-ass and they just throw everything in the kitchen sink in, but they also make it work. Great job. You only watch this video if you were actually in the market for this thing. Otherwise, you would have never uh, stayed this long. Thank you for doing this. If you're in the market, please follow my links below to all the different shops. I think there's four or five shops now. So whatever uh, shop you shop at, please follow the links. That helps the channel a lot. Thank you for doing that. It's no extra cost to you, but it does support us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mackie, for your trust in me. And animals at the end. Right.